Hey everyone, welcome to the Bruce Williams channel. I'd like to pose a question for this video, and that is, is this the most valued rich luxury watch brand? And I think a lot of watch collectors will have a different definition of what brings the most value. For some, it's name cachet. For some, it's finish level. For some, it's brand history or comfort or movement design or overall quality. For others, it's macro detail work or loom or a mix of multiple aspects. For many, I think it boils down to one question, and that is how much watch do I get for my money? Now, before I talk about you know the answer, my opinion to these questions, let me first shout out to Exquisite Timepieces. They're an excellent family-owned Glass Huta original authorized dealer in Naples, Florida. They lent this watch in for me to film and to share with you. So if you're shopping any Glass Huta, I'll definitely recommend them and a link will be below. Now, I think an extremely valid argument could be made that this brand, uh, you know, this Glass Huta original German-made brand is, you know, it's the watch where you get the most for your money. Some people would say Grand Seiko at this price segment, and it's hard to argue against that. I think for most of us watch collectors, it's going to be a toss-up between these two brands as what is bringing the most value at the luxury price segment. Uh, I think if I had to choose one, you know, it's painful. But uh, the more I think about it, the more I would choose Glass Huta Original by a hair. And the reasoning could be a great separate topic video that I'll do in you know coming weeks or months. But in short, uh, this watch has an amazing in-house movement. It has impeccable finishing. This has many elements that are hand finished. This has incredible dial cleanliness and crispness and overall attention to detail. This watch has powerful wrist presence. This has respectable vertical integration when it comes to the production. This has functional complications. And here's the aspect that Grand Seiko usually falls just a little bit behind in. Uh, this has excellent bracelet and clasp quality and the tactile feel of elements like the bezel or the function pushers are above average. In short, this CQ chronograph demonstrates the aspects of why I think this brand is so satisfying for the price. Now, I think that this, yes, does exude quality all over, but here's one aspect that I think a lot of you will really appreciate. It comes down to the fact that this brand is underrated. It's like wearing stealth luxury. You are not wearing a brand that makes you a target for theft or for cutting watch idiot savant judgment. Nobody, unless it's a fellow watch idiot savant, will know that you spent thousands of dollars on this timepiece. It's a perfect example of quiet German-made luxury. Now, I think this is also slightly underrated to watch collectors. Not fully. It is definitely gaining in notoriety. It's uh, gaining in respect. But when you ask a watch idiot savant about high horology, they will start thinking of and talking of brands like Gigi Le Coultre or Patek Philippe or Breguet or maybe Vacheron Constantin. Uh, when they think about German high horology, Lange will dominate the conversation. And Glass Hütte Original is that up-and-coming luxury brand. And I don't know about you, but I usually find these types of brands the most interesting. Now, at this point, I'd like to geek out a little bit about this movement. Glass Huta Original calls it the Caliber 3723. And as you can see, it is fully decorated. It has lovely striping on the three-quarter plate, defined purling under the balance. It has heat blued screws, spiral brushed wheels, black polished elements, including the column wheel and the swan neck regulation system. There's even a striped 21 karat gold strip that's affixed to the outer edge of this skeletonized rotor. Uh, this is a large caliber, large in diameter, that doesn't feel out of place in this oversized CQ diver design. I think that this is stunning to view behind a box-shaped sapphire display case back. And not many brands do sapphire box-shaped crystals on the reverse of their watches. But beauty aside, let's take a closer look at the complications. This does more than just hours, minutes, and seconds. This has a grand date, which Glass Huta Original calls a panodatum, 
or the panorama date. It is perfect for individuals who struggle to quickly read a standard size date. And even though it is large, this complication doesn't feel overly intrusive. It doesn't feel overly eye-catching on the dial side. And that's something that I appreciate. Note how the separate digits are placed on the same plane. This is also pretty uncommon with this style of grand date. This movement is a column wheel chronograph that is the flyback style, meaning you can reset the chronograph mid-timing event instantly and start a new timing event without damaging the movement. And generally, flyback chronographs are only found in watches that cost well north of $10,000. Not exclusively, but I would say the majority cost over ten grand. This movement has a silicon hairspring for resistance to magnetic fields. The movement contains 47 joules and will be adjusted to six different positions. In short, this is a large, technically impressive, stunningly beautiful in-house movement and one that will perform well in daily wear use. Now, if I consider other aspects of the watch, this dial work is fine. The overall case finishing is above average. The tactile feel of the various elements like the bezel and the chronograph function pushers is impressive. But it's this movement. It's the movement that's my own favorite aspect of the watch. I keep coming back to it. But here's, here's a question. Let's end with this. Bruce, if this brand is so good or so underrated, why isn't it more popular? And you know what? That's a valid question. And I have some thoughts. I mentioned it earlier, but this brand is ascending. It's gaining respect. It's gaining popularity. It is going in the right direction. But I think a lot of the, I don't know, if it, <laughs> the, the, a lot of the reason why it's not as popular as it should be comes down to name recognition. Glass Huta Original isn't an easy name for English speakers to say. And in talking about the brand with fellow local collectors, a lot of them will pronounce it every way that they've ever heard it said and then afterwards apologize for not saying it right or not knowing the proper pronunciation. It's a name that just doesn't roll off the tongue in the same way that Rolex or Omega does. And that brings up another point. This watch retails for a little over $14,000 and there is not a high percentage of watch collectors that regularly shop at that price. Many first-time luxury buyers will want to go with, you know, a traditional luxury brand with name cachet, and they will feel that it is money wasted if the dial doesn't bear the name Rolex or similar. This watch retails for less than a stainless steel Daytona does, and I would imagine that 99 out of 100 watch collectors would probably pick a Daytona over this at retail price, even if this is you know, better than a Daytona in almost every regard. And that leaves the, uh, let's see, how do you say this? That leaves the largest advocates for the brand to be that ratio of collectors who don't value name brand recognition or ones that have already gone down that more predictable brand route and probably own multiple Rolex and Omega and Zenith and other similar brands. Now, I could be off base here, but those are some of my own thoughts. And in talking with fellow watch collectors, I'm left hopeful for the brand. Many that I've talked to see this as a top quality, steal of a deal luxury priced brand that is definitely on the rise. And I hope Glass Huta Original gets the love or gets the respect that I feel that they deserve. But let me know what you think. Thank you for watching today. I really appreciate it. If you're looking for a great Glass Huta Original authorized dealer, I'll again recommend exquisite timepieces. They are a family-owned AD in Naples, Florida, with an excellent selection of Glass Huta Original. And they have fantastic customer service. Links will be below. Thank you again for watching. Please subscribe for more. I'll see you in the next one.